Hey guys, well, welcome to uh, Simon's Normal Stretch Class. Bit of yoga, bit of Pilates, bit of Tai Chi. Um, not got any music on at the moment, so you can put on your own music in the background. So for once, uh, you can have your choice of music rather than whatever I fancy. Um, so I'm just gonna go through all the basic bits, give you some alternatives, um, and hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, here we go. So, what we're gonna do guys, start with the feet hip apart. I'll take my shoes off, that's probably a good idea. Um, and then literally start with going heel and toe. So just moving body weight forward and back on your toes. Nice and easy, just getting used to that forward motion on the toes and back on the heels, all right? Just show you from the side as well, so normal forward and back, heel toe, yeah. Good. Then from there guys, side to side, so just rocking from one side to the other, getting used to the weight shift from one side to the other, from one foot to the other, and then bringing it back into neutral. Following up, we're gonna come up from the knees to the pelvis, normal forward and back, rock, so tucking underneath with the tailbone and lifting back up, so tuck and lift again. I'll show you from the side, most of you know this one anyway, coming to the classes, tuck and lift the tailbone just to get the lower back mobility nice and gentle. Okay, then we're gonna do a little hip hike, so if you just watch my front of my fingers, the crest of the pelvis there, all I'm doing from here is I'm just gonna lift and drop lift and drop. So I'm trying to get the distance between the top of the pelvis here and the distance between the lower part of the rib cage, using the muscles down the side of the body there, the obliques to squeeze up through the side of the body there. So that's two movements for the pelvis. Now, tricky one, some of you do this with me quite a bit in the classes, but we're just gonna go over, just have a look at the other movement we can do, which is a rotation, guys. So rotation in front of the pelvis here, so imagine two headlights, Shining forwards, okay, and now what we're gonna do, keeping the lower part of the body, so feet normal, knees normal, but twisting through the pelvis, all right? So getting ourselves a little bit of lower body mobility, maybe up into the thoracic spine as well. So a nice easy twist there, all right? Now, if you look at my upper body, I'm keeping my upper body completely still. So literally I'm just doing that twisting movement of the pelvis, all right? A couple more of those. Now, obviously, as always, guys, Work with what you've got on the backs, shoulders, knees, all the usual necks, all the usual injuries we try and work around. Do what you would normally do. Try not to do anything you wouldn't normally do in the classes. Yeah? Okay. Now, coming into obviously the core itself. Now we know obviously to engage the TA, so transverse abdominus, also pulling in through the uh, belly button. But we're gonna come up from here into the breathing. So rib cage and breathing out to the side, plus trying to use the transverse abdominus as well. All right, so what we're gonna try and do is pull in here and inhale. So we're gonna breathe in, expanding the rib cage out to the side, guys. So think about breathing out to the side rather than breathing high in the chest through the exercise that we're gonna do. So we're breathing out in, expanding out to the side. When we exhale, so when we breathe out, we're gonna pull in a little bit harder through the tongue. And if you're really good, I'm used to remembering my pelvic floor, but if you remember, pelvic floor on, TA on as we breathe out, and that's gonna then support the whole of the core as well. All right, so you put all of that. Okay, now, a little bit of warm up for those just with mobility issues on the shoulder, start with a small circle. Yeah, we all get crunches and clicks there, but hopefully once this warms up a little bit, I'll get a feeling a little bit better. So just rolling around through the shoulders, go to the larger circle there, all right? Lovely, and then we're gonna just settle nicely, keeping a little bit of arch in the foot there, knees soft, TA, think about breathing. All right, chin up, so length through the spine. Chin up and just draw that back so we've got nice neutral spine. So ideally, ears, shoulders, hips, and heels should be in line, all right? Now, just gonna come up to the neck, just give the neck a little bit of a warm up and uh, get that moving as well. So let's see nice, easy movement from one side to the other. Keeping yourself in that normal, neutral stance and just think about breathing gently as we go through, yeah? So just getting the neck moving. Simple roll as well, we can roll down, roll back up, make sure we're not going back through the neck itself, we're just rolling forwards, just to get that going. Lovely guys. Okay, now, obviously you can repeat that, do a little bit more than I'm doing, I'm just giving you a bit of a demonstration, so if you need to warm up a little bit more than that, you're more than welcome. Now we're gonna look at getting uh, down towards the mat. So, 
Looking at a roll down, again, I'm hoping everyone that's uh, viewing this is obviously uh, coming to the classes, so just remember what I normally tell you, but uh, I'm just gonna try and remind you those things now. So, roll down, guys. We're gonna go to the end of the mat. So, step into the end of the mat. I'm gonna stay sideways so you can see for this first bit. Uh, starting with, so feet hip apart. Yeah, shot, uh, a little bit of shape in the arse of the feet there. I'm not exacerbating that, just normal stance. Knees soft, neutral pelvis, so make sure we're happy there. TA is going to be on, we're going to breathe out, we're going to start from the top, so head, shoulders and all the way down. So starting from the head, I'm going to roll the spine, so it's a roll down rather than the fold. We're going to just literally roll all the way down, nice and slow, as far as you feel you can. Alright, so just literally from there, just hanging down, nice and easy, as far as you want to go. If you are worried about your back at all, guys, obviously uh, just limit the range of movement, okay? Now, from here, I'm gonna do a walkout. Again, just get the wrist going if you want to, all right? And then from here, all I'm gonna do is that you just walk slowly out. Now, you can go as far as you want. You can go a little way or right out like I am. Again, if you need to drop down on the knees, take the weight off the core, uh, off your back, of course you can. And then from there, all I'm gonna do is a single press. Again, no pressure to do so. Single press and back up to the top. I walk back, so big breath in, don't forget you're breathing out on the harder part of the move. So I'm pulling in through here, through my TA, walking back slowly, yeah, and then from there, just hang nice and easy, and then roll up, stacking the spine from the lower back. So again, I'm doing the harder part of the move, so I inhale first, gauge the core, pelvic floor, abdominals, and then nice and slow, stacking the spine back up, all the way. So nice breath in, inhale, exhale. So we're gonna get nice and warm now. Rolling down, far as you wanna go. Walking out, good, nice breath in before we go. Exhale, on the way up, walk back. Good, and again, we're rolling back up, guys. Now this is more Pilates. We'll put a few yoga moves in there for you as well. Good. And again, one more time, big breath in, good, all the way. Well done, we're gonna walk out again. Keeping that neutral spine, so make sure, nice and neutral. Big breath, lateral breathe, down we go. 90 degrees, exhale up, elbows in, don't forget. And then what we're gonna do is walk back from here, nice and slow. Now, just have a nice little stretch here, so just hang, guys. You want to start getting those hamstrings working a little bit more. We're going to take the hands down towards uh, the uh, ankles there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep my um, hands where they are and then I'm going to extend up. So now I'm getting my hamstrings really working. <sighs> Breathing out on the way up. Inhale on the way down. <sighs> Get those hamstrings going. Nice. Now, for some, most of you chaps out there, yes, hamstrings always tight. Mine, look, I'm not getting full extension through here. Don't worry. Try and get the heat, try and start to extend. Get those hamstrings warm. Something more flexible, might wanna just bring the hips up, tailbone up towards the thing, so really stretching through here. Get the length through the back of the hamstrings. And then start to bring the weight forward. If you've got more flexibility, you can bring the weight forward onto the forefoot there. And they can really get those hamstrings nice and warm. Now, a little bit of a yoga pose now. So we're gonna go into an active back. A little bit controversial with this one, so do be careful, guys. We just come up a little bit away from the floor. It's too much on the lower lumbar, obviously a little bit of sheer force there, so just be careful. Exhale down, back into the fold. We're gonna go into chair now. Weight comes back on the heels, sit back. We're just in that chair position, hands on those thighs there. If you've got a little bit more to give, bringing in that core nice and tight. One, then two. Bring it back if you need to, yeah? If you've got the strength to keep it there, feel that on the upper back as well, through to the fingertips. Exhale all the way up. A little bit of balance for those who want to practice. A little bit of balance, always good. Up on the toes. Inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, exhale, roll. Good. Now we're gonna put it a little, take it a little bit further, guys, so we're gonna walk out. Single press, a little bit more heat for you. Don't have to if you want to. Remember, on the knees if you want to. Exhale up. Don't forget lateral breathe. Inhale, come back. Exhale, chair. Add the extra. All the way up to the top. Toes. Round we come. 
Last time, inhale, don't forget, lateral breathe, exhale, all the way down, chin, shoulders, through the thoracic spine, lower back, think about what that back has to do to get there, so give it the time if it needs, walking out, should be nice and warm now, shoulders over, knee, over the top of those wrists, inhale, lateral breathe, down, exhale, walk back, how are we doing, all good everyone, I hope you're all right out there, good, and then sit back, should be nice and warm now. Explode out there if you've got the power, work through the glutes, you can get a bit of glute engagement as well. Up on the toes, round wide, well done. Good guys, should be nice and warm now, all right? Right, now, just gonna look guys into getting down on the mat. So again, roll down as you would before, so head, shoulders and roll. Good, and then we're gonna walk down onto the mat. So, <clears throat> Nice basic cat cow. So cat cow, real simple. All we're gonna do from here is we're gonna come up first and then back down. Again, just be wary, just be mindful of your back as you're doing all these exercises. I tend to exhale up, exhale down, inhale through the center. So tuck in the chin, tuck in the tailbone, so we're getting that up underneath of the tailbone there. Tuck in the chin, we're getting that nice round shape through the back. And then we're gonna go the other way. Inhale on the neutral spine. Exhale, come up, so head, shoulders. Relax, the shoulder blades down, lift through the head, lift through the tailbone. Inhale, exhale, change. Use that breath to really stretch as well. Really exhale, stretch through, guys, all right? So really get that nice stretch. Great for mobility for the spine, so unfortunately, maybe sitting more than we wanted to. So just really just try and get this in as much as we can. Yeah, lift through the tailbone. Yeah, lift through the head. Good. Good, and you can repeat that you know, many times if you want to, guys. I'm just gonna do one more, just to remind you. So up, yeah, breath out, inhale, exhale. Good, just be careful, guys, especially in the lower back there. Might get a little pinch, so just be aware. No fizzing feeling, you don't want any sciatic, anything like that, nothing about dull ache. Just try and avoid, only go through the pain-free zone. Nice, easy one more of a yoga move, this one, uh, child pose, so we just sit back. Stretch out the hands forward. Good, sit right back. So we're trying to get the bottom back onto the heels and chest onto the thighs. And again, you can stay here for a bit longer if you want to. Lovely. So, I want to work on a little bit more core stability. Obviously, keeping that tongue nice and tight. Keep the TA on, all right? So, opposite arm, opposite leg. So keeping yourself in a neutral spine, so making sure we're keeping it in a neutral spine there. Uh, we're going to try and lift, so you can either alternate, you can either do leg or arm. If you feel confident, you can obviously do uh, opposite arm to leg. So, for example, you can do left arm, right leg, which I'm going to do first. We're looking to go long first and then float up. So, pushing long and then float both up. Looking to push through the toe, through the fingertips, reaching and obviously getting a bit of length through the spine if you can. So, reducing compression on the spine. And then we're going to change from there. So, inhale on the change. Watching for rotation through the hips as well. So remember that twist that we did right at the beginning uh, of this little clip. Um, just watch for rotation. So hip here should stay nice and level through this area here. So inhale, exhale, out long and float. Good, and coming back. Then just get you, again, you can repeat that uh, each side. So again, if you want to do more than that, obviously, we're just gonna give you another quick, just show that one, but obviously you can repeat those as many times you want through. So, floating up. And then again, exhale, inhale. Lateral breathe, keep that going, da, da, da. and also don't forget, I forget pelvic floor, but try and, if you can, especially chaps, we're a bit rubbish at this, but uh, try and do the pelvic floor if you can. So we go out long, come up. Good, and back down. Again, if the back's a little bit tight, mine gets tight, as you know now, so I'm just gonna sit back. Sit back, get that nice stretch. Pushing out through the fingertips, and then we're gonna go, hands come round, curl up nice and tight. And just take some nice deep breaths in and out there, guys. Obviously, I'm turning my head, which is an ideal. You wanna keep your head in, obviously, neutral, but I'm just sticking my head round uh, to talk to you guys. Okay, yeah. All right, bring yourself forward, guys, well done. Now, from here, guys, we're gonna go down, we're gonna do a little bit of back work. Now, essential, Working the posterior chain um, all the way through the back. So 
necks all the way through to the heels really um, we try and keep ourselves nice and strong so all we're going to do is just come down onto our mat nice and gentle now in this position here guys obviously i feel it straight away in the lower back all right so when you're here although it's quite comfortable just to lay down try and make sure we're engaging here again transverse you're still working the tummy muscles to support the lower back so it will part the core so from here easy option all right very similar to a sphinx or cobra position in yoga um, we're going to come up from the floor i've got the support of my hands here yeah and i'm just coming up nice and gentle up and down Now, whilst I'm doing this, I've got my TA on, so I'm pulling in through the tongue to support the lower back. I'm also going to use my glutes as well. Big prime mover, so use those glutes, activate those, you can squeeze those, and I tend to find that the pressure on the lower back tends to come down and out when I'm doing that if I've got my glutes engaged. So, squeeze through the glutes, exhale. Inhale, return. Good. Now, I'm feeling a little bit more confident, remove my hands out of the equation, put them down to the side, reach through the fingertips towards the toes, inhale, exhale, come up, obviously more pressure on the lower back, breathing through it, TA on, glutes engaged, squeeze those glutes, yeah, and again you can repeat that process, keep that going, all right? From here, I'm going to push up through the hands, sit back, have another little stretch on the back. Okay. Going into long arm plank, so we're going to go into long arm plank, shoulders over the, over the top of those wrists. Make sure we're pushing and driving back through our heel. So this part of the heel push back, engage the core. We're just going to hold here. Again, just going to do a quick demo. I'm not going to be here for ages. If you want to hold it a little bit longer, pause the video. Absolutely, of course, you can go for a bit longer if you want to. Variations on that one, of course, guys, if you find, sometimes nowadays I find my wrists a little bit painful. So again, all I do, come down onto the elbows, or of course, down on the knees. So holding that position there, keeping that nice and strong, nice and tight. Still pulling into the transverse, so I'm using that breath, using the TA the whole time, so I'm working extra hard. A little bit of glutes on support the back, working the whole posterior chain again. Perfect, guys. Okay. Now, onto the side, hips. Don't know about you guys, my hips are getting a little bit achy these days. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, I'm just gonna move my mat so you can see a little bit better, hopefully. Um, yeah, just keep ourselves in shot for the old cameraman. So, down on the, uh, down on the side there, guys, all I'm doing is I'm gonna uh, lift my head up, so I'm gonna put my hand here to talk to you guys, but if you can bring your head down, like so. All right, so it's nice and comfortable, we've got the, arm there to support. We're going to look at clams. Now, yoga pilates, down the gym, whichever. These are great for hip opening. All right, so using the glute med um, and obviously up in the hip there to keep the range of mobility. Now, single thing guys, imagine you're sandwiched between two walls. Okay, so you've got a wall here, especially a wall behind you. What we're trying to avoid is going over the top here with the hips, so in other words, rolling. So if you feel your bottom leg move at all, then you know that you're using your pelvis rather than the actual hip and glute meat itself. All right, so give me a quick demo rather than waffling in on too long. So feet together, out to the side, open. I've not got fantastic range there, it's not too bad. And I keep my feet together, okay? Engaging through the glutes, I'm squeezing through the glute, working the range. Probably numbers, you wanna be aiming for about 10 or 15 of these. Obviously you've got a bit more endurance, maybe up to 20 repetitions, guys. So, all right, so really working through here. So again, hips again, easy to neglect those, but try and get those moving. A little bit of lateral movement is good for the hips. Uh, the other thing, as we all know, if you've got good glute strength, good uh, hip strength, it's gonna help our knees. So if you're suffering on the knees a bit, not so mobile, uh, just working the range there. Okay, now we're gonna take the leg out long, nice simple lift now. So from here, I'm just taking my one leg on. So you can either take one leg out long, keep the other one bent for stability, if you've got a little bit stronger, you can see uh, maybe myself and also uh, some of the other guys as well, you might be a little stronger, so you take both legs. Now, again, I'm still thinking about breathing, I'm still thinking about using the core. I've got this hand here free. Now, 
This hand, if I've got it out to the front, is going to give me a lot more stability through the body. So absolutely fine if your stability's not so good. Um, maybe hips aren't so strong then, obviously have your hand out. The closer you can bring your hand to your body, obviously the more the challenge for you, okay? So hand closer, more challenge. I'm going to bring my hand somewhere in the middle there, uh, sort of middle, middle part there. All right, so from here, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to lift the leg up to the side, but try not to rotate through the pelvis. So lean back, so we're going straight up. Very tempting to lean back, or sort of uh, change the position. You stay in a neutral spine here, we're going straight up, straight down. I've got a nice pointed toe. Again, if you look at say 10 of those, I'm gonna do sort of six to eight there, probably lost count already, but there we go. All right, so six to eight there. Now, from there guys, taking it up a little bit further, take the leg, hold it at 45 degrees. Now, lower leg, again, say eight to 10 of these, bring the lower leg, in. Now, this is a real challenge now because my hips are starting to I can really feel that through my glutes. I'm using down through the side here my obliques and TA. I'm still breathing out, so inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I have to really work there to be able to do that, guys. So, again, once you reach your number that you're going for, that maximum, say 10, 15 feet together. And now, imagine my legs are now taped together, so I'm now trying to hold that position there. Now, that is really tough, guys. You can feel that really burning down the side of the body. I'm kind of talking to you and shaking at the same time. So from here, if I can, I'm now going to take the hand on the front edge there. If I want to go a little bit further, I'm going to try and balance and bring that up on the side there, guys. First time, look at that. Good. Okay. Now, another challenge. I know somebody else uh, that teaches class is going to be showing off a little bit later on, so I'm going to show off to you as well. We're going to try and take the arm and take it over the top. See if the old boy still got it. There it is. Good. All right, there he goes. Good. All right, now holding that there. Now, you can keep the hand there and show off if you want to, uh, extra strong, but this is just a beginner's guide. And we're gonna bring that hand back down. Now from there, we're gonna do a little pulse up to the side. So, if you want to, what I'm gonna do is just do a little pulse. So, tiny little movement, inhale, exhale, work through the transverse. I'm gonna do about four or five there. Lovely, we can go a bit further if you want to. Lovely, well done, good, and bring the hand down. Good guys. Now you can repeat on the other side. I'm gonna quickly whiz over and just show you uh, quickly on the other side, uh, the same thing again. So whizzing over to the other side. So just to remind you, time on. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, just gonna quickly remind you. So literally from here, we're gonna come up, yeah, and back down. So it's that big raise up and back down. Then we've got the single leg. Bring the two together, single leg and hold, and then I'm gonna rush it on this side, let's see. Bring it over the top, yeah, if we can. Oh, a bit more of a lift there, and bring it back down. Yeah, so all of that on that side. Now, okay, so now, try and get directions from the camera man, just trying to work out what he's trying to say. Okay, now, so laying on the floor, guys, a lot of uh, controversy over this. I still get confused. Difference between, obviously, we've got differences between Pilates, uh, yoga, uh, there's a little bit uh, there. Um, and again, sort of our own research that we could all do now. But for, for my perspective, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep the pelvis here completely square and stable. So think about we've got the rock underneath. Yeah, you can practice those if you want, just to loosen up the back while I'm chatting. You've got twist, side to side, and you've got the hike, so that twist on through the tailbone there. All right, so there's those three sort of planes of movement that we've got uh, with the pelvis itself. We're gonna try and lock this now, so I keep this nice and tight. Again, a lot of people ask me, should I you know, really press my lower back hard into the floor whilst I'm doing these core exercises? The answer to that, in my opinion, is no, um, but more controversial than that is obviously should I have a big arch in my back? Uh, the answer to that one, I believe, is no. Now, but what we do want to have is we want to have the natural curve of your spine. So, for example, I've got quite an S-shaped back, all right? So, my upper back is not kyphotic, but it's slightly rounded and my lower back goes in. That's absolutely fine. So, I've got a bit of a gap in my lower back. You might have quite a flat back, all right? Or something else, scoliosis, something else going on. So, whatever your back is like, when you're laying on the floor, you want to keep it in that same position. All right, so you're not forcing flat, trying to show off and, um, and work these ab muscles more than you need to, because that's gonna then put pressure on the lower ligaments in the lower back, all right? So we don't wanna change the shape of your back, you wanna just keep it in neutral, really important. That's the basis of Pilates with breathing and core. So, TA is on, 
All right, so I'm, I'm making sure I engage with my tongue. My lower back is just staying in the same position. I'm forcing it in, just keeping it exactly the same. Head, I'm talking to you, obviously with my head to the side, you want to be looking straight up to the ceiling. So what we call a neutral spine, okay? Arms down to the side. Now, think about the breathing, think about the core. We're just gonna lift one leg or float one leg up away from the floor. So you, over these next few exercises, can challenge yourself from this one, which is gonna be the easiest one, all the way through to the hardest one. Please don't feel you have to do anything as normal that you normally push yourself any differently than you would in my class, all right? Now I'm gonna float that leg back down, change it over to the other side. 90 degrees, that tabletop position. Coming up and down. Lower back isn't changing, TA is working hard, breathing as I'm coming up. Hopefully for most of us, not too much of a challenge. So nice and easy, okay? From here guys, we're gonna take it up a little bit further. So as I bring the leg down, I'm not gonna put pressure through the leg. So through the foot into the, uh, the mat there. I'm literally just popping that foot down, nice and light, working through the tongue the whole time. Yeah? Now, from here guys, we're gonna work a little bit harder. Lift one leg, lift two legs. So tabletop our normal tabletop position for uh, uh, working again these uh, core muscles. So, from here guys, I'm just gonna take one leg, bring it down, one leg, bring it up, one leg, bring it down. A little bit more of a challenge for you on that one. How do we make this harder? We'll make it a little bit harder. Again, just float the foot, so don't bring the foot all the way down to the mat. Bring it back up, or take the leg a little bit longer. Now the movement is coming not so much from the knee, it's coming more from the hip here. So hip here, working, rather than the knee itself. Now if I extend the leg slightly more, now I'm getting a little bit more challenge on the core, but obviously really, when I say core, most of us think just tummy muscles, we're actually thinking lower back. So make sure that lower back is not changing, not even a little bit, all right? If that's changing, then we're not engaging the core, properly and we're then putting stress on our lower backs. So it's really important guys that we stay with that. However much we think just a little bit won't matter. Really guys, we've got to be really careful here, all right? Now, from here guys, we want to take the challenge up a little bit further. So, rib cage arms. So we're gonna bring the arms into this. Now, the rib cage, the back of the rib cage must stay in contact with the floor as we go through these exercises, guys, yeah? So we just take it a little bit further, bring some of you know this is dead bug as well from some of the other videos and things. So all we're doing from here is we're taking opposite arm and leg. Yeah. I'm thinking about my breathing. So inhale, lateral breathe. Exhale. Going out long. Hopefully these legs are coming back to 90 degrees here. Let me know later if they're not. Yeah, that's it. Inhale, exhale. Again, you can stay a little bit, repeat a little bit further. If you'd rather just stay with the legs, guys, or just do the arms, of course, absolutely no problem at all. You can just do uh, that through. All right, perfect. Now, if you want to double it up, you want to go extra sort of top level, really go for it, obviously you can do both together. Yeah, so now from here, working long with the arms, long with the legs. I'm really working hard here, guys, engaging. Exhale, <sighs> inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, if you want to repeat those through, guys, do some sets and rounds of those, absolutely fine. I'm going to hug my knees in because my back's just starting to get a bit grumpy now. So, hugging my knees in, guys, just giving that a nice hug of knees. Uh, even just doing this a simple thing once a day will really help the lower backs as well. So, all I'm doing is pulling in knees to chest and just opening out my lower lumbar. I'm just giving a little rock. Again, see how your back feels. Sometimes, I say, oh, do, do that, and someone's like, oh, that's not so good for my back. You choose, guys, at the end of the day, you choose on your back, it's really good. Now, if you want to, again, you can just do a little sideways rock, that's quite nice. Just gets that lower lumbar moving a little bit, and QL as well, uh, quadrosaborium. Yes, I too eat shelf muscle groups, I know as well. Good, okay, <clears throat> lovely. Now, I just loosened up that lower back, feels quite nice now, so I'm gonna just kind of go a little bit further. Bridge position, I'm gonna start with neutral bridge first, and then we're gonna do an articulated bridge after that. So, from here what we're gonna do is really get these glutes working. Now, nice for toning the bottom, but also really nice uh, to help you lower back. So, make sure 
ankles are underneath the uh, knees there. And all we're going to do is push through our pelvis. Again, breathing out on the way up. So breath in, prepare. And then all we're going to do is straight up onto the shoulders. Straight up. Inhale, come back. Exhale, come up. We're not looking to push too high through the hips, so neutral spine. We're not looking, especially if you're a little bit more mobile, don't exaggerate that movement past here, yeah? So that neutral spine. Otherwise, again, the pressure can build up lower back here, so just be careful there. Again, we can repeat that quite a few times through, guys. Now, neutral bridge, quite a traditional one there, mainly for toning up the glutes. If we come back down, guys, in that neutral, now we're going to look a little bit harder to see on probably your video right now. I'm going to try and just show you uh, as much as I can, just by sort of pulling the t-shirt around here. So lower back, we're starting from the normal neutral position. What we're looking to do is tuck here, so tuck the tailbone under. So uh, as we showed you at the beginning of the video clip, uh, we're looking to tuck the bottom underneath. I'm trying to exaggerate a little bit, so don't exactly copy me, I'm exaggerating that movement. So we're just doing a gentle tuck underneath here. So we're just getting that movement there. And then we're going to build that up. So, looking to start in the lower back, so uh, tailbone there, lower lumbar, then obviously uh, thoracic and all the way up to, uh, towards the cervical uh, vertebra as well. So, we're looking to tuck the tailbone and now we're lifting just a little bit away from the floor. So, we're getting that little gap under here, make sure not too much pressure in the lower back here. Still time on. And then exhaling, rolling down, working each part of the back in. Now, knees, mine were just starting to try and flare away a little bit. It means I need a bit more strength through these hips. So I'm just gonna come up here, roll up, try and keep those knees over the ankles, rolling back down. All right, now, I'm just gonna show you a bit quicker so you can see, up we come there, and rolling down. You can take your time doing that, all right? So if you need to go slower, go slower. If you wanna go a little bit quicker, a little bit fitter maybe, absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna do a quick one there, show you, and then, Back down, roll all the way, all right? And again, roll up, good. Now, I'm gonna bring my arms into it, just open out the shoulders. Again, you can have your arms down like so, guys. You wanna go a little bit further, rib cage arms, keeping it neutral over the top, and stretching through the fingers, length through the spine, holding position again. If you wanna hold that position for a bit longer, absolutely, of course you can, not a problem at all. Hold that there. Now I'm gonna bring my arms back down. So exhale back down. Now I'm gonna do something challenge for those that wanna have a little challenge. Just bring my legs just slightly closer together. Knees, I'm in control down the side of my body. My glutes are really firing up now. I really have to work those hard to stand in this, stay in this position. Then from here, guys, I'm gonna let you take one single leg. Make sure ankle underneath the knee. I'm going out nice and long. So I'm straight through my body, through here. This is working, these are working, oh yes. Good, and then coming down, change over to the other side. Good, trying to keep control through this pelvis, horizontal here, laterally here, so everything's staying nice and square. Come back down, all right. Have another go on each side if you're feeling good. Good, and last time guys, again, I'm turning my head so I can speak to you. Please keep your head looking, so skull looking straight up towards the ceiling. Good. Now, rolling down, so again, articulated, if you wanna do a neutral bridge, you can, but I'm gonna do an articulated one, so movement base, so head shoulders rolling down. Good, into the lower back, really get that lower back working. Turbo tuck, and just get back down. Okay, right leg goes long, left leg comes in, let's have a little stretch for the lower back, so the lower back's a little bit tight, also a little bit of stretch through, obviously, your Glutes there as well. And just give that a nice big hug. And I'm gonna change over to the other side, guys. So, change over to the other side. Pulling in, nice little stretch. Good, coming back with the legs bent there, guys. Feet almost together. We're just gonna do a little bit of mobilization now for uh, the shoulder girdles, get these shoulders working again. Just be careful you have got uh, any shoulder surgery or any issues in the rotator cuff there. Otherwise, we're just gonna try and work this as much as we can. So. First one, guys, I'm gonna to reach towards the ceiling. So keep my head, I'm still keeping my rib cage, I'm still keeping the lower back in contact with the floor uh, throughout this next one, but really good just to get some mobility in the upper back. So what I'm doing is reaching as high as I can, so we wanna get on the ceiling there, trying to reach as high as we can, and then relax from the middle of the back, bring the shoulders back down, 
I'm gonna go again. So reaching up, my shoulder blades are moving on my back here, and then back down. Really nice just to open out the shoulders, especially open up between the back there, between the shoulder blades is nice. That's lovely. And then one more time, reaching up, so reaching up towards the ceiling, and just relax back down. And just have a moment there, just to try and settle the back into the floor. Now, keeping the lower back, keeping the core on, keeping the breathing going, I'm going to inhale, exhale. I'm going to take one arm over the top, one arm down to the side. So reaching with the fingertips, reaching down to the side. Great for mobility, as I say, through the shoulder girdle. Inhale, exhale, and change. Now, we're really focused here, guys. Make sure the ribcage isn't changing. You're getting these arms going. In an ideal world, yes, your arms straight over your head and you're reaching down towards the floor, really open out through the chest and shoulders. Obviously, for most of us, we don't live in an ideal world. So, if your arm is going over the top and trying to bend to the side, this is quite normal, but try if you can to get that arm straight and really get that over the top, reach through the fingers on both sides. Now, obviously once you've got that one going and you feel good, you can stay with that if you want to go a little bit further, doubling up, so both together. Yeah, exhale, reach with the fingers. Coming back, just be careful on those shoulders. Good, now add a sweep. So you can add a sweep in there. I'm gonna do a little bit more sweeping down, make sure it's clear on either side. Sweeping down, so now I'm gonna get a bit more vigorous. Inhale, exhale, reach, inhale. Time on, working hard, TA, still working the abs. So if you're thinking when's the ab bit, should be now, because you're working the whole way through. Lower back still comfortable, neutral spine. And I'm gonna reverse that. You can do that with single arm or double arm. So reverse around the other way, big sweep, over the top. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Time's working hard, inhale. Speeding up a little bit there, and back down to the side. So nice one just to work shoulder girdle and, uh, and all through the shoulders there. Now, next one guys, uh, we're gonna do is a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, we're nearly there on this video clip now. So this next one is the roll up. Now, lots of different things we can do here. I'm gonna show you the full roll up if you just wanna get on with it and get cracking. And now I'm gonna break it down for those uh, that need a little bit more from it. So, feet together, almost together on the mat. And I'm, again, I'm just uh, relaxing here at the moment, just having a little breather. But we're gonna really work this time now. So, from here guys, let me show you. Hopefully we'll do this uh, all in one take today, so this is the plan, so we'll see how good it goes. Now, come over, rib cage arms. Yeah, I'm concentrating on my back. I'm aware of my rib cage. And now from here, I'm gonna inhale. I'm not gonna arch the back, stay in exactly the same position. Bring it up in one go. So I'm really getting up through this, pulling in through the transverse, guys. Now you can come to this point here, and of course then from there you can stretch forward, yeah? So, hands coming towards my toes. Again, ideal world, yes, my hamstring's not too bad on this one. But on this one, guys, I can just feel, uh, obviously, a little bit on the lower back. So again, if you don't wanna come forward on the forward bend there, you can just come up to this point here, yeah? And just flex, flex you through the feet, get that going absolutely fine. Now, roll ups. If you can do them, brilliant. But if you can't, then they're quite frustrating. So, what I'm gonna show you is a kind of, um, um, a rep, kind of backwards, uh, like a negative rep, and then you can kind of build this up. So, a couple of different options. You can start from this point here, get that C-spine, so bring the chin in, and we're just gonna start from the uh, tailbone and roll down, so opposite, basically the opposite way. So we come back down, yeah. Now you get to a sticking point, you might find it's a bit too much, so at that point you can just come back up, yeah? So you don't have to go all the way down. If you want to do the whole roll, and you can get down, it's easier to obviously do the downward phase and the upward phase. Gage in here, big breath in. Lower back, working in, thoracic spine there, lovely, and then coming up into the upper back there, yeah? And then what you could do, if you can't get all the way up, obviously on your side, up you come. And then you just do the negative rep again, yeah? So you just do the, the downward phase of this move. Good. Yeah, slowly down. Now, if you find that you're kind of partway there, I'm not using any equipment in this video clip, obviously, um, if you want to use some extra equipment, you can get a belt or something around the toes. Uh, I tend to not use too much equipment in my class, as you know. Uh, well, obviously, you can hold on to the thighs or the shorts to, to help you up a bit. I don't like to use the upper body too much in this. I'd rather use the stomach muscles, build those up, rather than yanking uh, on, on any kind of band or belt. So another little sneaky tip, or little kind of way I found to do it, instead of bringing the arms over here and trying to 
uh, sit up. What you can do, rather than try and use loads of momentum, which is kind of counterproductive, what you can do is just bring the arms forward earlier. Yeah, so earlier, and then you've got a little bit of help with the arms to get yourself up. All right, rolling back down, shoot the whole one now. So some of you guys will also want to know how to make it a little bit harder. If I keep my arms back for longer as I roll up, then there's obviously the length of the lever between here and here is longer. Yeah, and now look, oh, I really have to work hard to keep the feet on the floor on that one. Yeah, all right, so that's your roll. Little stretch, guys, just open up through there. And then we're nearly there on this video clip now. All right, so well done. Now, so I've given a quite a good blast through the whole body there, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. We're gonna just quickly look at a couple of others, obviously 30, seven or 34, I can't remember now, moves in Pilates. I'm just going to show you a nice one um, for hip flexors as well. Uh, and that's about the only thing that we haven't worked on so far. So what we're going to do here, guys, is just literally step forward. So we're going to start this position here. I'm going to step forward. Now, a couple of different ways to do this one. I'll show you a couple of different ways. I'm going to step forward with the left leg. Make sure ankle knee 90 degrees. From here, rather than trying to do a massive step forward, so driving forward there, which you can do to start with, you can come back up. Now, quite a nice way I found, um, I showed you, I showed you one there by local physio, is opening out of the hip flexor just by having that um, kind of movement on the pelvis. So, what I'm going to do is just do a gentle tuck underneath, and now I can feel that open out through the front of the pelvis there. All right, knee is over the ankle. So, I haven't actually had to put a big stretch forward there. I'm just doing exactly the same stretch by tucking underneath of the pelvis, yeah? Now, how do I go a little bit further on that one? If I wanna go a little bit further, same side, so my right side, I'm just gonna lift up through the right arm there, and I'm getting a really, really nice stretch through my hip flexor, yeah? All I'm doing is tucking underneath, thumbs on, keep that nice and straight. All right, lovely, well done. Then from there, what I'm gonna do, nice stretch on the front of the leg, pushing forward through the front of the leg, lift the toe, and then from here, from the hip, I'm just leaning forwards through the hip, like so. Now, if I've got a bit of a bad back issue there, all I've got to do, if I do the opposite of what I've just done, so I'm lifting my tailbone up towards the ceiling, now the distance between obviously the back of the knee there and the, uh, the pelvis there is increased. So very easy without having to stretch too far forward, I just lift my tailbone, flexion through the toe, and then I'm getting a really nice stretch through the front of the leg. Obviously you can roll over, if you haven't got something under the knee, grab a pillow off the uh, couch or roll something up front and back of the knee there if it's a little bit painful as well if you're at home. Now, change from there, just going from there, back into child pose. Nice big stretch. Again, stay a longer if you want to. Medium slice, step forward. Obviously, if you want to go bigger step, push forward first and then come back to 90 degrees, all right? So from here, ankle knee, 90 degree. Again, here, guys, I'm tucking the tailbone underneath all right, so that whilst I'm here, I'm getting a nice stretch through uh, the hip flexor again. All right, so again, hold that one there if you need. All right, then, leg goes long, lift the toe, so I'm lifting the toe, squaring my hips as well, making sure my shoulder's back, and again, I'm lifting, so I'm lifting through the tailbone, nice and long through the leg, all right, flexion through the toe there, and again, I'm getting just a nice little stretch through my hamstrings. Again, you can just bring that forward, just a nice stretch. Now, how long should I hold stretches? Uh, depends whether you're doing, obviously, mobility exercises, uh, movement-based uh, flexibility. So, obviously, when you'll be moving through ranges quite quickly. Uh, some of these stretches you can see, some of them are moving quite a lot of static stretches. So, again, static stretches, I'm holding for a little bit longer uh, to turn those muscle groups off. Now, I'm going to give them a nice little stretch through. All right. Something about the golden tendon. I can't remember now, but there we go. Now, okay, sit back. Stretch out. And then bring the hands round and just open up through the shoulders. So I'm now nice and close, pushing up. Again, you might only be able to get round to here or here, no problem. If you've got a bit more flexibility, pushing up towards the scene, just open up. Nice stretch for the shoulders, nice stretch for the chest there. And a little bit on the biceps as well, I can feel that. Good guys, well done. Now we're going to come back onto all, all fours. Now this one, guys, bit of fun at the end, all right? So it's been quite a serious clip here. I've tried to make sure uh, with Pilates, as you know, I want to get it right to make sure you guys don't hurt yourselves. But what I want you to do, and now some of you know this one, uh, some of you, this might be new to you, um, is imagine uh, you have a tail, 
So if you imagine your tailbone, all right, you've got the end of your spine there, you've got your tailbone now, it's a bit boring, it just sort of finishes, doesn't really do a lot, apart from if you uh, land on it a bit sharp, it's painful. But we're gonna imagine we've got a tail. Now, I quite like lemurs, um, so I'm gonna imagine I've got a nice, uh, long, uh, sort of slightly curly, stripy black and white tail. If you wanna be a fox, a Labrador, it doesn't really matter, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna imagine you're gonna wag your tail. So all we're gonna do is wag your tail from one side to the other, yeah? now. Quite a nice one, I found this is really good for my lower back. Um, and you guys, if you're sitting down, hopefully you're out walking and doing other things as well, but if you're not, maybe you've got your Netflix on, uh, then, yeah, just literally wagging from one side to the other. All right, now, what are most things uh, they got tails? They want to bite their tail. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna imagine you're gonna bite your tail. So you're gonna look around at your tail, change to the other side. So now I'm really just getting the whole back moving, loads of articulation, loads of movement there. Open out through that lower back. Really nice movement, bit of movement there, guys. And that's just really gonna help you through the whole of the back, all the way from head to our tail. We're gonna come back, we're gonna go into more of a traditional yoga move now, which is the downward uh, dog. Uh, loads of different variations, guys. We're just gonna do the basic one here today. Uh, some of the other guys, I think, are gonna do uh, a little more sort of advanced moves. So, I'm gonna tuck my toes underneath. I'm looking to get my tailbone up towards the ceiling. So I'm pushing that off my hands. Got slight softness through the knee, through the crease here, guys. I'm gonna lift up through, tailbone towards the ceiling. I'm just pushing my hands, so pushing my head through the hands, chest towards the knees. And then I'm getting a nice stretch. We can pad the feet, so Achilles. Sometimes you find the Achilles, especially without walking a bit more now, hopefully. You're gonna find the Achilles is gonna get tight, get the calves going. That is gonna be fantastic to really get the calves, mobility through ankles and feet. Absolutely fantastic. If we can, guys, we've got a little bit more, then we just straighten the legs out a little bit more and pushing both of our heels down towards the floor, which, as you know, is pretty painful. Good, and then from there, we're just gonna walk our hands back towards our feet, and we're just gonna hang. Now, nice, easy hang, a little bit of a yoga one this one, just walking, working from one side to the other. Again, just open out the lower spine there, lower back. Nice and relaxed, well done. Good, coming back to neutral. So from here, guys, I've got a slight softness through the knees, and then I'm gonna really engage, so pelvic floor, make sure my TA is on, big breath, lateral breathe, and then stack the spine. Exhaling all the way. Stacking through here, so each bit, think about each bit of the back has to really work. Get that all the way up to the top. And there we are, back to the slot, nice. Okay, cool. Now, obviously, um, you know, I know some of you guys are not gonna be able to get a bit, a bit disappointed, not coming to the gym and so forth, but hopefully that's kept you going. Uh, I'm giving you something to do whilst you're at home. Hopefully you can get out of the garden if you're lucky enough to have a bit of garden space. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, uh, I can't really answer any questions as I would do normally talk about any of your aches and pains and bits and bobs, but there we go. Obviously, um, you know, just make sure you look after yourselves, guys. At the end of the day, you know, just listen to your bodies. Make sure that you're not doing anything that is any sharp pain. Don't go through any range of movement there. That is something that uh, is gonna cause you any discomfort. Hopefully, it's gonna be only a short time, and then we'll be back with you anyway. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.